you have to be familiar with the standard experimental, quasi-experimental, and correlational designs. But you'll also encounter some special types of studies that are less common or used only in specific fields. Let's start with case studies. The term case study refers to studies that focus on one person or one group. You're already familiar with case studies, at least the ones that are quantitatively oriented, and have an experimental, quasi-experimental, or correlational design. They're referred to as single subject, time series, or NS1 research. The term case study is more often associated with qualitative studies, which are generally aimed at generating hypotheses instead of testing them. Now, I won't go into purely qualitative case studies here, because this course focuses on the hypothetical deductive approach to science. But there is a type of qualitative case study that actually fits this approach perfectly. It's called negative case analysis. Negative case analysis means that the researcher actively searches for a case that provides contradictory evidence, evidence against a hypothesis. Now, supporting a hypothesis requires a lot of consistent confirmatory evidence, and is always provisional. But in theory, you just need one good counterexample to reject a hypothesis. Now, of course, social and psychological hypotheses usually specify relationships that apply in general, or on average, or to groups, not individuals. So occasional negative cases normally don't lead to rejection. But if a hypothesis is formulated in all-or-none terms, negative case analysis can be very useful. Another type of study is evaluation research, aimed at investigating the effectiveness of a policy or program implemented to address a specific problem. This type of research can be summative, focusing on the outcome of a program, assessing whether it was effective, or it can be formative, focusing on the process, assessing how the program works. Evaluation research is a form of applied research, since it investigates a program implemented in the real world, and it's not necessarily but usually non-experimental, because often it's just impossible to use a control group due to ethical and practical reasons. Intervention studies, on the other hand, are usually experimental. They're aimed at investigating the effectiveness of a method aimed at treating problems of individuals, generally in a clinical setting. Think of studies on cognitive behavioral therapy for depression or remedial teaching for children with dyslexia. In contrast, evaluation research focuses on programs with a broader scope, aimed at larger societal or educational problems. Evaluation research is common in sociology, communication, and political sciences. Intervention studies are more the domain of developmental and clinical psychologists. Validation research is another very specific type of research. This research is aimed at assessing the quality of a measurement instrument. The instruments are usually surveys, questionnaires, or tests designed to measure an attitude, a trait, or an ability. The instruments typically consist of several questions that are supposed to all tap into the same property of interest. Statistical analysis is used to see if the responses to these questions show high internal consistency. Another major topic of analysis in validation studies is whether responses to questions that measure related but slightly different properties show expected patterns of association. Validation studies are important in the field of psychometrics and sociometrics.